Hi guys from The Thoughtful Gardener. I wanted to show you what we're doing today. We're gonna to be tagging butterflies today. It was cool again last night, so the butterflies came inside because we dropped in the mid 40s. But the good news for this butterfly is it's gonna be glorious today and it's up above 60 degrees, so it's time to let him go. He hatched yesterday afternoon and his wings were not dry, so we couldn't let him go uh, last evening. It gets dark here pretty soon uh, now in central Pennsylvania here in early October. So what we're doing is we're going to tag him. Now this is the little tag uh, you can see there and I got that from monarchwatch.org. It also comes with an information sheet that I will send in to them once all of my butterflies have departed and that then gives the scientists an understanding of where the butterflies came from and where they're going to. So in this particular case Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania and hopefully Mexico and if you see one of these tags along the way, I want you to take a picture of it and send it to Monarch Watch. That helps our scientists to understand the path that these butterflies are taking. In addition, if you will uh, certainly report any sightings, even if you can't get uh, one of the tags on, you'll notice if you are seeing butterflies that this generation is slightly larger than previous generations, that's on purpose. They're going to ride these air currents and their wings are about 10% larger. Now, what's really interesting is the weathermen are starting to pick up these butterflies on their weather maps because this generation flies in clusters. So the other thing you might be able to see is actually what's called a roost, which is a group of butterflies that will come down and spend the night and then the next day they'll leave again. So my question to you is when they land in your garden, will they have plants like this one, which is a liatris, one of their absolute favorites uh, for nectaring this time of year, also aster and goldenrod, but if you're looking for great pollinator plants for your garden, I'd recommend going to National Wildlife Federation and looking there for the best plants for your garden for this time of year that will host the most pollinators. So let me show you my butterfly and I'll show you how we're going to do this. All right, buddy, you ready to go for a flight? So you'll see what I did here. I just grabbed him gently, uh, similar to like uh, a clothespin, I'm very gently holding him. Now he's moving around down there, but he's not going to move such that I can't put this tag on. And let me show you where this tag is going to go. So on this lower wing is a little area that looks a little like a mitten. Do you see that? That mitten is exactly where we're going to put this tag. Now it's really easy to do this with two people, someone to record the information and someone to do the tagging. And what you're going to do is just gently take the tag off and then you're just going to hold pressure there for a couple of seconds till it's firmly attached and then he's ready to go. So we'll take him outside and he'll be off to Mexico. Garden thoughtfully and take care.